Hey guys, it's Lori at artatdesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can distress your, your graphics with a texture object in a destructive and non-destructive way. So to do that, I'm going to zoom out here and you'll see that I brought a few pictures into Inkscape. And basically these are just images from Pixabay or um, I think they're all from Pixabay, but you can also look on Unsplash or Pexels or whatever your favorite image site is. This is the one that I've used today. Uh, this one yields pretty good results too. And this one comes out more like a grid like this one here. Um, but I'm going to use this one as my example today. So with this image selected, I'm going to go to path and trace bitmap. We'll get this window pop up here. Make sure you have live preview selected. I've chosen a threshold of 0 0.680. You might want to go a little higher. Uh, depending on the image you chose or if you chose the same image, click OK. And then we'll close out of this menu. And that's the texture that it gave us. So this is a vector object and scale that up and down without any loss. So the first thing we're going to do is, is the destructive method. So I'm going to just line it up about so. Zoom in here. I'm going to send this, this guy to the back here using this button here. Lower selection to the bottom. And then we'll go to the path, uh, path difference. One of the objects is not a path. Okay. Now, if that happens to you, just try ungrouping it and then go path union to make it all one object and then let's try that again select all your graphics just uh, sorry not just the top and the bottom piece there and we'll go path and difference try that again okay so this is the destructive method let's zoom in here and we'll go to the nodes tool and you'll see what it's done. It's just added an atrocious amount of nodes. So this isn't the best method for doing this. It'll work, of course. Um, okay, that tends to be very heavy when I'm recording. Okay, so the non-destructive, this is called masking. I'm gonna use my graphic here. Which one's better? This one's better. I'm gonna use this one. I'm going to zoom in using control and get a better look at this. Okay. So I've got some heavy portions here. I would have liked to have gotten them in the graphic. Just going to position it to something that I like. Um, and then I'm going to raise it to the top. Okay, so now we can't see it. So you want to make sure that it's in a position that you like. Then we'll select both objects and we'll go to object mask set okay so there's our texture okay and if uh, if we want to change the color we can do that change the color I'll press Control Z I rather like the red okay so the other thing is is we can undo this that's the nice thing about uh, non-destructive it does not destroy your work so if I go to the nodes tool and then I click on this it didn't add anything extra that I didn't already have. Um, so let's let's undo it. So we'll go to Object, Mask, and then you can release it with this button right here. So it just takes it back to the vector form. So that's why it's non-destructive. It doesn't really affect your image too much. It just adds. So that's two ways that you can do that. Add textures to your image. If you like the tutorial, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.